Oh, hello, my friends. This is Teacher JB. Uh, we are going to study cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers. Cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers, and the content is from the book Gateway to English. Now, you see the chart of cardinal numbers. Cardinal means to count. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3. An ordinal number is for order, so it's going to be order, so it's going to be first, second, third. Okay, let's study the number together. This is number one, cardinal, and first, this is ordinal. Two, and second, so you can write second like this. Three, and third. So watch the uh, spelling, three and third, four, fourth, five, fifth, six, sixth, seven, seventh, eight, eighth. Now you see TH ending here, except first, second, third. The rest of numbers have th. So look at ninth, nine n-i-n-e, but ninth spells n-i-n-t-h, and ten, tenth, eleven, eleventh, twelfth, twelfth, thirteen, thirteenth, and it is just like fourteen. 14th, 15th, 15th, 16th, 16th, 17th, 17th, up to 20. And then this is 20th, so it spells T W E N T I E T H. 21, 21st, 22, 22nd, and then 23, 23rd, and 24, 21st, up to 30. 30, 30th, 40, 40th, 41, 41st, 42, 42nd, 43, 43rd, and then 44, 44th, 5th, 6th, 50, 50th, 60, 60th, 70, 70th, 80, 80th, 90, 90th, 91, 91st, 92, 92nd, 93, 93rd, 94, 94th, up to 100, and then the 100th. So these are the cardinal and ordinal numbers up to 100. Before we go to the next page, one thing we need to remember is the. In front of the ordinal numbers, we need to put the. So it's going to be the first, the second, the third, and the hundredth. Okay, let us read the story. The title is Five Apples. I have five apples. One, two, three, four, and five. The first apple is green and it looks sour the second second one second apple is red and it looks delicious the third one the third one is yellow so one means apple the third apple what well, the third one is yellow and it looks sick the fourth one is green and it looks better than the first one. This fourth one looks better than the first one. Finally, the fifth one is red and looks the best among the five apples. One, two, three, four, five. There are five apples and the fifth one looks the best. I have five apples and they are all mine. However, if I have to give away one apple, it would be the third one. This is the third one. 
If I have to keep only one, it would be the fifth one. This is the fifth one. One, two, three, four, five, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So the first apple, the second apple, the third apple, the fourth apple, and the fifth apple. Okay, let us fill the blanks with an appropriate number using either cardinal or ordinal. Mary, Sarah, Jane, James, John, Tim, Peter, Juan, Umberto, and Tom. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 people. 10 people. The blank person is Mary. Mary is number one. So number one is the first person. The first person is Mary. Okay. The blank three people are women. So Mary, Sarah, Jane, three people. So in this case, we can say the first three people are women. So there are three women. The blank person is James. James is number four. So the fourth person is James. How about number five? The blank person is John. John is number five. John is number five. So the fifth person is John. The blank person is Tim. Tim is number six. So the six plus TH. The sixth person is Tim. And then the blank person is Peter. Peter is number seven. So this is seven. And seventh person is Peter. The blank person is Juan. Juan is number eight. So it is eighth. Eight. And eighth person is Juan. And the blank person is Umberto. Umberto is number nine. So nine. We don't use E here. Ninth person is Umberto. The cardinal number is N-I-N-E. This is 9. But the ordinal N-I-N-T-H. Ninth. The blank person is Tom. Tom is number 10. So we can say the 10th. But just like the first one, just like Mary, we can use the last person. The last person is Tom. The first person is Mary, and the last person is Tom. The blank and blank people are Sarah and Juan. Sarah is number two, and Juan is number eight. So the second, the second and the eighth. The second and eighth people are Sarah and Juan. The last person. We just did it here, right? The last person is? Who is the last person? The tenth one. So Tom. Tom is the last person. Okay. And then there are how many men? Yep. We have ten people and we have three women. So the rest of them are men. So there are seven. Seven men. Okay. And then... The blank person's name is the longest. Mary, Sarah, Jane, James, John, Tim, Peter, Juan, Umberto. It looks like the Umberto name is the longest. And Umberto is ninth. So again, it's, N, it's not N-I-N-E. N-I-N-T-H. The ninth person's name is the longest. The last one. Tim is the blank person. Where is Tim? Tim is number six. So number six is, Tim is the sixth, the sixth number. Okay, one, two, three, this is cardinal. First, second, third, this is ordinal. And then when you use ordinal, you always use the. Okay, this is the conclusion of today's sto uh, study. I will come back to you with another topic as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.